The F-106B is a two-place version of the F-106A and will serve as a fully capable interceptor. It has the same high speed, guidance system, and armament as the all-weather F-106A. To meet Air Force stall and spin specifications, an aircraft must demonstrate its recovery capabilities while undergoing such maneuvers. In October 1958, Convair began a test program to determine the F-106B's ability to recover from stalls and spins. Special equipment modification and installation on the assigned aircraft, 2507, was accomplished at Convair's San Diego facility and at Edwards Air Force Flight Test Center. Some of the safety factor assist equipment was utilized from the F-106A spin test program. The anti-spin nose strakes comprise the primary recovery system. Their purpose, when extended in flight, to change the airflow over the nose of the fuselage to aid in spin recovery. A spin recovery chute was the secondary recovery system and in operation would slow the aircraft, allowing the nose to drop to regain control of the F-106. A shear pin was incorporated to prevent inadvertently exceeding air load limitations at the structural attach point. To supply emergency hydraulic and electrical power in the event of flame out during spin maneuvers, an emergency system was installed. This system could actuate essential electrical components and test instrumentation should other power supplies become inactive. In addition, the system supplies hydraulic power for control system operation. Special installations were also made in the F-106B cockpit in the interests of pilot safety. A single action pilot escape system was installed to provide completely automatic ejection. Special spin directional lights were added to the intelligence system and would operate when the yaw rate exceeded 17 degrees per second. With the completion of the recovery equipment installation, the aircraft was ready for high speed taxi tests. Taxi tests were held at speeds up to 140 knots to demonstrate deployment and jettison capabilities of the spin chute equipment. Further testing was accomplished in the air. The results were compatible with those attained during F-106A testing. The recovery appendages did not change the flight characteristics and operated to the satisfaction of all concerned. After initial testing was complete, the stall investigation phase was begun. These investigations were to study the flight behavior and stall characteristics in the region of maximum lift coefficient. All initial stall investigations were performed with the aircraft in a clean configuration. The auxiliary power switch was turned on prior to each maneuver. Stalls were made while holding wings level and from a turn. Minimum speed was reached by slowly increasing up elevator and reducing power to idle. For acceptance, the aircraft had to provide adequate stall warning and to recover through normal use of controls any time after such warning. In the interest of flight safety, certain functions were telemetered and ground monitored. Data evaluation disclosed that all stall investigations were positive in nature. Data were collected proving the stall characteristics acceptable and the aircraft entered the spin phase of the program. In the spin phase, two gross weights were tested with maximum fuel giving aft CG loading and with minimum fuel, the practical fuselage loading, giving a forward CG. For pilot safety, a special restraining harness was incorporated for the chest, crotch and head. The pilot's position under certain load conditions during a spin required these special restraining measures in addition to standard devices. Three spin investigations were programmed to evaluate recovery characteristics with application of controls for recovery after three turns or more. 
Prior to each spin maneuver, direction lights were checked by means of rudder kicks. All spin test results were verified by data presentations obtained by telemetry, oscillograph, photo panel, and pilot comments. Annotated time histories of each maneuver located control positions and forces, as well as airspeed, altitude, acceleration, pitch, yaw and roll, plus angle of attack and side slip. All data presentations obtained in the F-106B spin test program confirm the recovery capabilities of the two-place interceptor under existing Air Force stall and spin specifications.